What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Northern Valley. So this video we're focusing on Winstanley Isle and also finishing up some of the downtown parts that we haven't really finished yet. So first things first and that is this little roundabout here. So I kind of did a sneak peek of this on my Twitter. So if you don't follow me there, do follow it. The link is in the description below. But yes, we've taken the old lighthouse, the one that was in ruins, if you will, and we have put this in the middle of this roundabout. Now, this in just a picture form, like on my Twitter, it looked kind of strange because, I mean, lighthouses are never really landlocked. They're always usually, you know, doing their job <laughs> out by the sea. But uh, yeah, we've moved it because I actually got a few comments that said, keep both lighthouses. Just because this one's got such a, a history... I mean, it doesn't really have a history in, like, the literal sense, because we just placed it down a couple episodes ago. But, you know, in, like, the sense of the, the RP of the game or whatever, this lighthouse was obviously there first. So, we've gone ahead and we've moved it to the roundabout, and I cannot even imagine the, like, engineering that would have had to go through. Uh, like, our, our city planners and engineers would have had to move that somehow in one piece. I, I don't know little strange but yes we've moved it here and I was trying to figure out something to do around it and I just started putting some rocks down and really it turned out really awesome I think personally um, the rocks I just kind of placed in a in a circle and of course you saw it took a long time and uh, the reason for that is I didn't want to use the the prop line tool because it really it doesn't give it a character you know all of the rocks would be going in the same direction and it just it it didn't look good so I, I placed them all by hand and I had to go through and uh, try to only use the smaller ones because I didn't want to obstruct the view from like I, I, I was saying before in the last episode with the path work I didn't I just wanted to make that roundabout kind of like flatter if that makes any sense so yes I you saw me actually toy around with a couple tree ideas in there and I ended up doing away with that Altogether, but of course we're gonna look at that more in the live portion of this video So now we're actually on to Win Stanley Isle, which is over here And I don't know when I like when I stepped back and look at this little island I had really no idea what to do with it And then I started to just kind of go through my props and I found that like party tent So I, I placed that down and I was like this would be kind of an interesting spot so people would want to go to it, so I ended up making this kind of like a wedding, I don't know if retreat is the right word, but like a, a wedding spot, and uh, I think it comes out fairly nice. The only thing is that like all of those red tables over there just kind of look out of place in my mind, and I, I would change the color of it, but I can't because they are, uh, a few of those are actually locked into the park that I put up there. And the reason I put the park in there is to hopefully entice some people to actually come over and kind of visit this area. So you see me kind of putting this little, uh, I, I don't want to call it an altar because it's not, but I, I, uh, I placed this little place where the, uh, the people would get married in front of, I guess. And uh, I, I went down and I looked at it and I was like, you know what? In the background, all you see is the poop slide from the uh, the Pubaka plant over there. So I had to actually go through and kind of make a, a backdrop out of these bushes and uh, some tree work just to kind of hide it. And I didn't want to do trees all the way around this little area. I didn't want to seclude it that much. I just kind of wanted to make like a scene where you don't see poop sliding down a little cement uh, pass. But I, I wanted you to be able to see the the city from certain angles at this area because I feel like if you were to have a wedding here you would kind of want to play into the strengths I think that's probably what people look for in like a wedding location is like scenery and scenic scenicality is that a word either way but yeah there are some very like picture worthy angles in this area so we will definitely check that out in the live portion of this video and uh, you're seeing me play some porta potties that I you know I took way too much like care for that area I wanted to hide those porta potties because obviously if there's a wedding there and a reception you would have to have some sort of bathroom situation on your hands but uh, I didn't want those to just be out in the open so I ended up kind of covering those up with some bushes and stuff but anyway we're moving on to decorating the rest of this island and you can see me place that wall down 
and it it snapped the ground in a very strange way, and I couldn't use the move it tool to fix it or the terrain tool at that point, so I just kind of scrapped the wall altogether. But I did, luckily I was going through these menus because I saw these like rock clusters that I must have downloaded in between episodes. I do that a lot. I go through and I actually download uh, stuff, but actually before I talk about the rock clusters, what I'm doing now is actually what I was talking about earlier, and placing rocks down with the, the prop line tool. See, it, it looks way too uniform, so I went ended up going back and kind of deleting here and there and kind of rotating them, give them giving these rocks some sort of like organic flow to it, but um, back to the rock clusters, I found these and they fit really well. They cover up that horrible detail or decal on the side of the cliffs. And uh, it, it works really great because it's not like, I don't have to individually place a bunch of rocks down to get that effect. I just, it's really, it's just one asset with a lot of rocks involved. So it, I guess in the grand scheme of things, will ease the load on the computer, which is always a plus. But um, anyway, let's, uh, I, might, I might end up using those, uh, those rocks in more areas down the river in the future, but... Um, so we're back here now in the downtown part of town, and I had downloaded this construction site, and I really wanted to use it. I just didn't realize how big it was. So, like, when I stepped back at the end of this, I realized this took up a really, really massive chunk of this area, which I think I, I could see some of you guys hating me for that because it feels like I cheaped out or something, but I, I feel like this section of the downtown is definitely the newer part of it we have like just judging by all of the um the buildings that we've placed down around here and the theme that i have for this area uh this is the part of downtown that would be developing itself and kind of growing in more more new than the historical part so i figured a construction site would actually fit fairly well down here i just i i wish it could have been a little bit smaller i'll be honest but I don't know, I, I, I've I never put a construction site in this game at all. So detailing the construction site, it's kind of, it was kind of new to me. I don't, I didn't, really didn't know what to do, so I just kind of started placing uh, construction props down, and in the end, it, it, it's okay, it could have been better, I think. Next time, maybe I do some sort of construction site, it's gonna be better, but, um... Yeah, we can maybe do a couple of tweaks here and there. Maybe if you guys suggest some stuff to make that look a little bit better, I'll, I can go through and actually fix a little bit of it. But um, yeah, for the most part, I think that's pretty much it over there. And then, of course, we go through and start doing a little bit more detail work around here. And I think, honestly, I went through and I did a couple little detail work or detail-y things throughout the, the other portions of the city that I actually didn't capture on camera because it really wasn't all that important. But this part I did leave in here because this is, it's right on the river. These apartment areas are right on the river. It's prime real estate. And I, I wanted to give this area just a little bit of character. And on the, uh, the stumps that I'm placing down right now, complete accident. I had been trying to find something to put there and I just kind of clicked the, uh, the prop menu and I had those, uh, I guess, selected for some reason. And so when I went to drag a fence, it just came out and I was like, wow, these look great. So I ended up keeping those in there. But um, we'll go back in there and kind of uh, talk a little bit more about the riverfront and this whole downtown area. We The time lapse doesn't really cover it all that much. So um, I guess uh, we'll just talk about it in the live portion. So guys, I'll, uh, I'll see you over here in like a half second when we go back into Northern Valley. All right, guys, so here we are down live near the river here in this little part that we were looking at at the end of the time lapse, and this is kind of an interesting little bit. I mean, at first I had thought maybe I'll just put some trees back here, but then I thought, you know what, this would be prime real estate for, I mean, a developer or any apartment living here. It's just, it's such a beautiful view of the river and the, the hills and all that kind of stuff out that way. So I tried to kind of make this kind of interesting. So I put a path behind this whole thing and um, I tried to kind of give each property behind their apartment complexes kind of its own personality. I had started talking about that in the last episode and you can kind of see, like if you step back, you can kind of see which apartment complex owns 
each little portion of the uh, the walkway here. So just a cool little, I guess, detail that I had in mind as I was designing that. So let's, I guess, take a step back and look at this just in general, what we're doing here. So the, the uh, you can see the construction site here. It's, it's, it's really big. It's like two square blocks worth of construction going on here. And perhaps, maybe, they're building a Trump Tower. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have so many people yelling at me to put a Trump Tower in the city. We need a Trump Tower, they say. I, I don't know. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a commentary about a political situation right now. I, I don't feel like that's my place to do on my little corner of YouTube. So maybe maybe in the future we'll talk about it, but you know what, for now. That is just a construction site, but we'll see where it leads in the future. Maybe if we get bored of it in the middle of the downtown area, we'll go back and detail out and kind of finish out this area. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It depends on where we go. So let's take a look at these, the plaza here. I had gotten a really good suggestion to go ahead and put some benches down on this little walkway here because it, it honestly needed it. So great suggestion in the comments from the last episode. That looks a lot better. And we've gotten a couple names picked out here. So this spired building right mid-screen is going to be known as the Anchorage Building. I really like that. This whole region, this whole map kind of reminds me of an Alaskan city still, and Anchorage, obviously, the Alaskan part. But um, this kind of weird-looking tower here, if I come out here, we're calling it the Peak Energy Corp. So I got a really interesting suggestion to name it Peak Energy, and they could be the guys that run the dam. And I really like that idea because this building looks so strange. And it just looks like a headquarter for an electric company. Like, it just fit too well. You guys eerily make comments that fit too well sometimes. And it's, it's really awesome. But um, I had been talking about some of the detailing that I did in between episodes. Um... I think really the only major thing that I did was kind of fill out this area behind these two buildings, or two buildings, this whole corner. Uh, put a couple trees back here, some bushes, just to kind of fill out the dead space, because there was a lot of it. It was just pretty much a grassy area, and like stuff like this, I still gotta go through and do. Maybe I'll remember to do that soon. I really should. But um, for the most part, a lot of the, I guess, dead areas behind buildings and stuff are, are pretty much handled by now. So, yeah, I think somebody had told me to go back and detail this area some more, and I did. Well, not really. <laughs> I just put these, like, yellow signs to signify this curve down here. Curve? Yes. And, um, that's pretty much it. I really don't know what else to do back here. Maybe something on the water side could be a good idea to do. But, uh, yeah, let's go and kind of finish this up looking at this island here. So this is the, well, first off, this bridge is, uh, it's quite rickety. And I, I'm surprised every time I see somebody bring a car over it. It just kind of, it's hilarious to me. But, uh, yeah, you walk up this little walkway over here. And the first thing you see, really, is that, that lighthouse. That is a beautiful lighthouse, a beautiful asset. I actually had the creator of that asset... I think comment on one of the earlier videos in this series, which is really cool. I love when that happens, like just happenstance, I guess. But yeah, this, I uh, ended up, I think you may have caught it. I had put a house like over here and it was growing, but I realized I don't have any utilities out here and I really don't feel like pulling like power lines over here. So I kind of deleted that. I put a garage down here with a little Jeep and is this like, built in is this a person here oh yeah it's just a visitor so uh, apparently robert alexander alexander yeah alexander alexandria maybe i don't know uh but they're checking out the lighthouse here beautiful and see here's a car rolling up already but yeah so if you take a right on this little road you come up to the wedding spot is what i'm calling it i don't know maybe you guys can name it if it's that important to you so yeah, this uh, this is really quite a beautiful view. Like, if you were to... Maybe I can get down here in the first-person view. Uh, if you were to take some wedding pictures from, like, over here, you get... Whoop, whoop, you get the uh, entire city in the background, and that really, really caps it. This is great. But like I said during the time-lapse, I, uh, I 
didn't want people here watching a wedding to see the uh, the poop slide over there. So I think we did a pretty decent job of uh, covering that up here. So that's uh, that's something that was on my mind as I was designing that. So yeah, and of course you look out this way and you see all of the beautiful mountains here. So really awesome. Um, I get, I think it was a really good use of this little area here. Good use of land. I didn't really know what else to put up over here, like I was saying before. But, alright, so, where do we go from here? Well, I think maybe mid-next week, I might do a video where I don't do a time-lapse, but I do go through and do some public transportation. Um, if you're looking forward to that, leave a thumbs up. Um, yeah, it'll probably be a shorter type video. Maybe not, though, since there is no time-lapse, but... Uh, we need buses, and we need buses badly, uh, especially around these areas in here, because all of these, like, buildings could end up actually growing up a little bit more, um, because it, the bus lines would add to the property values. And, um, yeah, we need people to be able to get downtown from over here. We need a metro kind of hooked up over there and all that kind of stuff, because we are actually getting a lot of traffic starting to kind of roll through here and I was kind of looking I took a step back as I do as I tend to do I guess but uh, we need some more bridges to this main island and of course we got uh, some buildings yelling at us still but um, yeah we need a couple more bridges going to here but I think that'll come in time as we kind of grow out uh, I believe we should probably put a college probably over here with some sports fields, like a baseball field and a soccer field, maybe, for uh, the kids to to use. Um, the college would be able to use it, but also we'd put some sort of path system from the high school and uh, elementary school and have those kids be able to, like, kind of double dip on that field and use that as well. So I think right on this corner would be nice, little education corner or whatever. And then, of course, we're going to get more into the uh, the suburbs out this way. So... That is pretty much my plan from uh, here on to the next few episodes, is to just kind of work this way a little bit. And, uh, of course, if you're looking forward to that, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike this video for any reason, leave a thumbs down. But, uh, yeah, so until next time, guys, I'll, I'll be back here working. And uh, keep an eye out for that uh, uh, the public transportation video. And, uh, yeah, until next time, guys, I'll see you back here in Northern Valley.